much of what he's capable of doing with this Riley Lacy guys. Been a tremendous surprise for us. Pitched well again on Friday. Had the shutout last weekend against St. John. So really happy with our pitching. I think our defense is kind of come around a little bit to play at the level that we're all accustomed to seeing our defense play. And now our offense has been just so up and down. We had a great offensive day on Friday. Very happy with our approach. And then Sunday we lost that approach. We trying to score two runs in two games. So that's if, if anything holds us back, it's going to be our offense. So we've got to find a better combination. And we've got to find a little bit better identity. One offensive standpoint, pretty solid. Now he's throwing 18 straight innings of scoreless baseball. That's hard to do for a young freshman. Um, he keeps thinking that one of these days he might take a step back, but he, he was even sharper, I thought, against Butler than he was against St. John's. His confidence is growing. He's able to throw two to three pitches now for strikes, even when we get behind and, and maybe hitters counts, he's able to mix a little bit better. So I just like the fact he's not walking hitters. His strikeouts are inching closer to that six or seven per game gave up one walk again this past weekend against Butler. So we would not be in this position without him, that's that's for sure. What's this game tomorrow night with Nebraska? Well, like a lot of them, uh, you know, we can't put too much emphasis on it. We do have a game on Wednesday against South Dakota State. We have to get on a plane 7 o'clock on Thursday morning to head out to Seton Hall. The biggest issue I have with some of these midweek games, especially against Nebraska, is how can we try to be competitive and win tomorrow's game and not lose Friday's game? And some people might say, what are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about pitching. How can we develop and use the pitchers that we need to use against a club like Nebraska and at the same time not burn anybody? So if we get into a situation where we need a deeper bullpen on Friday against Seton Hall, that we have some options. So uh, I know people would prefer it to be differently. They like to go in there with a fresh pitching staff and just roll it up and go at each other. But I can't speak for Nebraska, but that's how we have to look at it. But we have not played well against them the first two day, uh, first two games, especially early. I thought once we settled down, we played well in the first two games, but we spotted them some runs in both contests. We can't do that tomorrow night and expect to come out on time. So who are you going to start? We're going to start Jack Magala tomorrow. A lot of folks are, are interested to see Jack. He was our Friday night starter in the first two weekends of the season, then went down with, a, with an arm injury. He did pitch against U, uh, UNO uh, last Tuesday. Uh, he, I thought he threw pretty well for a guy that hadn't pitched for about eight weeks. He won't pitch long tomorrow. We're trying to inch him back. I'd like to see him get to see if he can pitch an inning tomorrow and then um, maybe have him available for the weekend and maybe, maybe at the end of the season he's back in a rotation. But we're going to be real smart with him. Uh, we don't want him to have another setback. But like a lot of Tuesdays, you'll see six or seven or eight pitchers on. You, um, do you hold out hope with this RPI thing or do you just not worry about it at this point? You just got to win games and... Well, I do keep an eye on it a little bit. I found it very interesting on Friday after we beat Butler. We were down to 51, and then on Sunday we're up to 61. So with a matter of day and a half, we lose 10 points. It's going to go like that for a while. Um, so I, I do it from a curiosity standpoint. I think we're still going to have to do what we need to do in a conference tournament. You know, first of all, get there, and then we're going to have to win it. I think we might end up in the 50s before it's all said and done with, but that's not going to be enough. you got to be in the upper 30s to low 40s to have a realistic chance in an at-large. We've tried to upgrade our schedule, you know, with bringing in Arkansas. Nevada's 33 and 11 right now with a pretty good RPI. So we still have some really good games out there yet. But I can't go in and tomorrow and say, hey, we must win the Nebraska game in order for us to have a chance in that large and then do something that's going to jeopardize what we want to do this weekend. This weekend series against Seton Hall is huge. We're tied with St. John's right now. We'd like to win the conference regular season. I don't think a Big East team has done that in a long, long time, back-to-back -back, uh, regular season conference championships we'd like to do that and we're not going to be able to do it without going to Seton Hall and getting some stuff done so uh, that that's our main focal point we, we let the other stuff kind of take care of itself but you know I, I'm a curious guy I'm sure the players are as well they look at that stuff and, and see if there's anything we can do to upgrade it but at this point um, our conference is what's the most important thing you're in a good position right now how do you feel about with three weeks left how the schedule sets up for you. Well, we are. It, it, that's why you know we get Villanova at home at the end of the season, which is good. Uh, this will be we'll be done with our home uh, our away schedule rather on Sunday. You know, so the rest of our schedule the month of May we're at home. So we've we've been a pretty good road team. You know, we found a way to win games like Sunday. Maybe we didn't play as well as we'd like to, but we still scratch a win across. Um, and 
we need to go out to Seton Hall and play well. Seton Hall is a, is a tough matchup because they do so many things. They're very much an action team on the base pads, and those are the teams that are toughest to prepare for. I wish we had all week to prepare for them, to be honest, because I think we'd have a better shot. We're going to have less than a day to prepare for these guys because we're spending today preparing for Nebraska. We'll spend a bus trip to prepare for South Dakota State on Wednesday, and then we leave at 7 o'clock Thursday morning, so I'll be on the plane trying to figure out how to get to see them all now. So it's going to be a, a, a busy week. we got to remember, too, these kids are in. This is the week before finals, too, so I'm a little worried about where our heads are on our players, and uh, I've got to do my best to keep that in mind, too, because sometimes I just want them to think baseball all the time, and that's just not the case at a school like ours. So I've got to juggle where they're at academically and then how we're going to put this all together with the travel and, and give us our best opportunity to come this weekend. It's going to be fun, though, saltiness between you and Seton Hall. You guys haven't really got after each other. Yeah, yeah we, had some, we had some great games with them last year, you know, and the one that you guys didn't see was probably the best out in uh, uh, Brooklyn when we beat them 2-1 to one the day before the conference championship game. It was a great college baseball game. That's the one that should have been on TV. That was maybe one of our best outings of the entire year uh, to hold them down to one run. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, there, there's a nice thing developing there. I like it. You know, I, I like rivalries, and they don't always have to be lovey-dovey rivalries. You know, I, I think it's okay. Yeah, some, sometimes people misinterpret intensity for, um, you know, as a negative thing. I think intensity in athletics is good. That's what people want to see, and we're not going to back away from that. You know, we're going to play with intensity, and if that rubs people the wrong way, then that rubs people the wrong way. But we're not doing it in a disrespectful manner. We're just doing it because I think that's what athletics is all about. So. Uh, we're going to do it, and they're not going to back away from that either. They're going to do it too. So I think our players will do just uh, fine in that kind of environment, and we're looking forward to it. Okay, perfect. All right.